Lex is due to birth next week. Look at that big belly. There's two I can feel, maybe a third. Just loves a belly scratch, don't you, Lexi? <laughs> if I stop, she does that. <laughs> Says, pat me some more. Don't you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. I'll be scratching you forever, won't I? Is that good? Hey? Is that a good scratch? Yes, it is. Let's rub this belly for you, hey? Izzy, Izzy, hello, baby. Hi. Isn't that a gorgeous face? <laughs> oh, you don't all have to come over now. <laughs> We're just sitting on the couch watching TV. Hang on, oh, they're all climbing on me. <laughs> No, I can't see anymore. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to go. Everybody's climbing on me. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> hang on. Say goodbye. G'day, guys. Welcome back. I'm going to go again with the yellows and greys. Uh, just doing a little practice for my new piece of art for my bedroom wall. So I did the little one. I'll just go and grab it. It's still wet because I only did it yesterday. Uh, let me see if I can grab that. I should have had it ready, shouldn't I? I wasn't that happy with it. It sort of went a little bit muddy-ish, which is always the problem with yellows and greys. But that's it there. So, uh, where will I put you? I'll put you over here for a minute. Wipe my hands. Now, if you watched that video, I said to you guys, remind me to do two whites on the next one. So I've got two whites. I also thought it was a little bit dull. I kind of wanted a bit more of a pop. So I've added black. So I've got white, yellow ochre. These are all Montmartre black, raw sienna, white again, the grey, uh, last time I used silver and I think the silver just got lost so I've made it grey, it's just black and white um, and then I've got my Naples yellow and then I've got the charcoal. So everything's the same except I've added an, an extra white, I've added a black which is a little bit on the thick side. It's thickened up since it was sitting. Let me just add a splash of water to it. Oops, that's a bit much, I think. I'd rather add it slowly. Um, now, while I'm stirring that, you can check out my seascape that I did. She's all dry now, beautifully dried. Uh, no problems. I never have problems with my paintings cracking. Um, it, the way you see them when I leave them, when they're wet, you know, and uh, say goodbye, that's that's how they dry. Obviously, they're dry. Um, I guess they go a little bit darker um, because wet paint always looks a little bit lighter. And also because I've added um, glue, it kind of lightens the art, uh, lightens the paint actually, but then when it dries, it goes back to its regular colour. So that's her there, I think one of my favourite, favourite paintings. Let's see how this black's going. Hopefully it's alright. Yeah, I don't want it, to, it's probably a little on the thick side because I don't want it blending too much. Now this is my new Derna cover that I've bought. So I've got a dark grey feature wall, the other walls are all grey. And then the Derna cover or quilt cover or whatever you guys call it is that's it there whoops so it's got some shades of gray black when i when i was looking at it i saw the yellow pillow and i thought oh yeah mustard but when it came it was more sort of a had sort of a brownish tone in it so that's why i've added the raw sienna so anyway that's that's what it's 
it looks like and um, I'm trying to match those those colors right oh let's get to this I'm going to do five flip and drags because it's my favorite thing to do with acrylic pouring love the old flip and drags let me get my gloves on <clears throat> Hopefully this works. I'm just a bit concerned that I don't have enough yellow now because it's going to be overtaken by all the, the grey. But again, it's just a, a practice. And I've added this brownish one as well. All right, I'm going to add my spot on treadmill silicone. Now I've got 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint. It's 120. Um, so normally I would put you know four drops in but I'm going to do the white as well so I think I'm just going to go three and everything pouring medium is my usual 60% uh, glue 40% water the black and white's going to have an extra one because they're a little bit a little bit more paint in them the white I had to add an extra big blob of white as I always do to thicken the white up well, no, the white just seems to disappear if I don't do that. And I've got them in my order that I want to layer them. Hopefully that will be right. I've sort of I've tried to get opaque, semi-transparent, or semi-opaque, opaque, semi-opaque, semi so that I can try and get some nice cells. And obviously I don't want the black next to the charcoal, do I? I'm trying to separate light, dark, light, dark, so that you can get pretty cells. Because you want a dark ring around a light cell or a light ring around a dark cell, don't you? You don't want two of the same sort of colours next to each other. You won't even see the rings of your cells. So you need to try and separate your colours. Oh, it's taking forever to stir. My gosh, how many cups have I got? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, but eight, my gosh. So I've got about 900, well, probably closer to a thousand grams a kilo of mixed paint. Whoops, spilling. And I'm gonna go for big cells. So I think I'm gonna try and tilt a little bit earlier than I, sorry, torch a little bit earlier than I normally do, whoops must have some grey on my finger, it went into the mustardy paint. Righto, let's get to this. Now if you don't want to watch me layer paint, just fast forward and come back to me in five minutes or so. I'm going to do two layers, so I need to keep half in there. If you put your cups next to each other like this, you can just keep going. You don't have to actually stop. Saves a bit of time, hey? Okay, that's the, uh, that's the yellow ochre. Mm, a bit concerned about the black. Oh, I'm just going to go with it. At least it won't run into the other colours, hey? If it's nice and thick. And then we've got our, uh, what is it, raw sienna. The raw sienna from Montmartre looks pretty much identical to the yellow ochre. So I add a little bit of burnt umber to it and a little blob of orange to it. And then I get a nice sort of a brown colour. Otherwise, they're just, they're very similar. You couldn't, you can't really tell them apart. They're that close. Had some um, thunder earlier. Wasn't expecting that. Thunder on a Sunday morning. Okay, righto, now the charcoal the charcoal and the black you know are pretty close but the charcoal is actually um equal parts of black 
to wipe. That's how the charcoal was made. That's how I made my charcoal anyway. Uh, and you'd expect it to be lighter with, you know, half of it white. But, um, no, it's not. It's still really quite dark. I guess the black really takes over. I'm going to have to make up another little bit of white, I think. So I want enough white in my next layer. So I'll make up some more of that. So I'm not going to have enough. Make up another cup. Um, hang on. <clears throat> You're there, aren't you? Okay, I'm getting confused thinking I'm going from there. Right, a little bit more of this one. You guys want to watch me make up white paint? Probably not. I'll just pause the video in a second and make up another cup of white. I thought I'd have enough, but not so much. So my girl Lexi, my puppy girl, not my daughter girl, my, my dog Lexi, she's due to give birth in a few days. So I'm on puppy watch. not use all this black we'll see how we go just put that over there for now because the black's quite strong and that's one of those colors that can take over but I did want that little extra pop of darkness otherwise it's all a bit bleh, you know similar colors okay this is where I need to put my extra white in so I'm gonna have to just Climb up my ladder and pause you for a couple of minutes. All right. Walking over. All done. Got a cup of white. I did 60 grams of pouring medium and 70 grams probably closer to 75 grams of paint. And I've got the three drops of silicone in there and let's get going again. I feel like I've got way too much paint for this canvas, but you know, as I always say, more paint is better. Because then you don't have to overstretch everything. I don't know if I should put the yellow on next. No. Actually, I haven't got very much of the grey left. I might just do three cups of grey because I haven't got enough to actually go around on all five with the grey. I don't know why. Maybe I made less grey. I can't remember now. No, I don't think I did. I think I made equal amounts. <laughs> I'm just trying to scrape every last little drop out. Right, that'll do. Um, and let's see. I'll make sure I've got enough yellow. See, I've only got enough yellow for two, so let's do that. That way we'll have a nice big splash of yellow in a couple of them. And you can, by all means, you know, alternate your colours. You don't have to have every colour in every cup. You can change it around if you want to. That way each drag will be a little bit different to the others. Mm, and I'll just sprinkle a little bit of this charcoal over all of them. And then we are Dunskies. starting to get a bit cooler now um, on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. So I had all my 
doors open and you know windows open just the screens shut enjoying the beautiful cool air on a Sunday morning and my neighbor started up his bobcat he's doing some um, excavations next door and I thought oh my god really do you have to it's nine o'clock on a Sunday morning oh, and then I had to shut all the doors shut all the windows so that I didn't have to listen to his noise. And he's going again now, I can hear it. Whirr, whirr, whirr. You probably can't hear it in the background, but it's there. Like on a Sunday morning, it's a bit rough, isn't it? Nine o'clock it was. I know he wants to get his garden done, but oh, it's just frustrating. <laughs> I have to close everything up again. Oh, there we go, my little whinge for the day. A little bit of white left, not much. Couple of teaspoons in the bottom. Righto. Um, I've sprayed my cups with my silicone spray. Do you want to see what it is? I'll just grab it real quick. It's on the back shelf here. Um, that's it there. It does come with this little nozzle and you can spray like that into your cup. I just do that and then the spray comes out of that little yellow nozzle there. So I just give my cups a quick little spray of silicone spray and then wipe it out with paper towel and that just helps the paint kind of all slide down doesn't I mean I still get some stuck to the sides but I'm hoping that it's not as much as what I would normally lose righto let's get to this please work hmm, hope the brown doesn't take over and go really muddy oh great oh and that was the one that had the extra of the yellow in wasn't it and this one had the gray again and this one's got the yellow and this one should be gray again oh loving that let's put some paint up here now don't be tempted to put what's in there in here all right don't do it. Don't say I didn't warn you. There's a little bit left in the cups. You just need to leave it. It's not going to be any good for anything. It's going to be all stripy and muddy and you just want your beautiful blended backgrounds there. So don't do it. All right, I've got my corner catcher. Got a few cells popping up already. Now I'm just going to kiss these two up um, and then I'm going to torch. I'm going to torch pretty early. Okay. We're just covering everything on the sides there. Okay, so it's just that edge and that edge that needs covering. But as I said, I want to get big cells, so um, I'm going to torch early, that way I can stretch them. Because a lot of people say, how do you get big cells? And I say, well, you have to stretch them. You can't just, um, oh, I'm just reaching for a skewer. You can't just torch and then, or well, you can't tilt, then torch, and then just leave them. They're not going to grow. You have to actually stretch them out. You can see there was a little blob there. Let's get it out now. Okay, a little un unmixed paint. Righto, torching time. Hopefully it's not too grey, hey? Glad I got those little pops of yellow. Here we go. Round and round. So my bubbles are still there. I'm not popping bubbles. I'm, I'm too high to pop bubbles. If you're popping bubbles, you're too close. Concentrating, I'm doing one drag at a time, so to speak, 
torching it where I want to, and then moving on to the next one. They're all so different, aren't they, the colours? I did get a bit close in a couple of areas, as I always do. I try not to, but I still seem to. Go over again. Put a few more cells where you want them. So I've got two close there. I've got a little cluster and a few caterpillars. Some people like caterpillars. One woman said to me, why do you always pick on the caterpillars? I like caterpillars. Okay, <laughs> I don't. I like the cells round. But there are a few in there, um, basically because this mix is a little bit thicker too. <clears throat> Righto. Um, I might just go that way first. And I'm going to use my corner catcher because I don't want to lose all the paint off the sides before I fill in these. So I need to go left, right, left, right so that they can fill in before it all goes over the edge. Otherwise I'll be losing way too much paint. And you don't want to move, do you? Why don't you want to move? You're the black that's a bit thicker, aren't you? Mm. All right, I'm going to have to work on you. Let's do this corner first. Okay, there it goes. The corner's done. I'll just put a little bit of paint in there just to help it go. Where am I going to hold it now? Oh, under here. Hang on to my push pin underneath. Okay. So it's gone. That little bit of white's pretty much gone. Um, I can tilt it again. And get it to go. Now I'm going to come back the other way. <gasps> I love the black. I'm glad I put the black in. Wish I had more black. Okay, I'm going to turn it round. I guess the only thing with doing a flip and drag is you get those, the stripes from where you've dragged down. And me, I like to keep them in line, but you know, you don't have to. Might get a bit of movement on this one. Now, you don't have to use your corner catcher again because you, you don't have to, no, because you've got plenty of paint, as long as you've made up plenty of paint. There we go. Oh, look how straight my lines are. Oh, wowzers. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often, does it? You can actually see one, two, three, four, five. You can see the five cups. Wow, this one's more black. That one's more yellow, gray, white. Sort of brownish, this one is. <laughs> just stretching everything out and just fixing my composition a little bit. This one was a bit too big, so I'm just moving everything over a, a touch. And I might just not have my lines in an exact straight line. Okay, now that's all you can do. See how they're starting to elongate here? You don't want to tip any more off the edges because they're just going to go longer. So there we go. Well, um, I don't know that you could call that a yellow painting. But I do like how I've got the pop of yellow here. So maybe when I do the one for my room, um, I can do one that's like, you know, got more black, more yellow, more brown, and do each cup a little bit differently, just so that each one looks a little bit different. Now, the cells are still quite small, aren't they? Even though I did stretch them a lot. Loving that. So pretty. Don't love how that goes around like that. 
but I'm just going to have to live with it. That can be the 30% that I don't like, okay? You know how you have to like 70% of it and 30% maybe not so much, but if you only like 50-50, then yes, yeah, scrape it and do it again. But if you like it 70% and only 30% that you don't like, that little bit there, then leave it. Um, I don't know, what do you think about the raw sienna? <clears throat> do you think it works? I'm trying to get my gloves off, but I can't take them off now because I've got... I'm just going to have to take them off and then wipe my hands. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you once I can get my gloves off. Oh, I struggle to get them off. See, because I'm doing this and it's just sliding. I'm trying to save them so that I can use them again. That's all. All right, let me wipe my hands. Um... It's totally different. Let me just turn my overhead lights off, my spotlights and things, now that I've finished. It's totally different to this one, isn't it? This one's just sort of grey and yellow. It's a bit muddy. This one, oh, I just got my thumb in it. Um, this one is... Much more like that, isn't it? It's, it's more grey. It sure is more grey. And uh, I guess when you look at that, you do need the um, raw sienna in it, don't you? I think you do. And then just like a pop of, um, well, I've got like a mustard. This one's more of a, that colour there again, the, the sienna. But I'm going to throw some um, more of a yellow, like a mustard um, pillows and throw rug and things like that on it just to up the mustard content so to speak. So there we go. I think that looks, it's a good match. So I think I will do that for my, my big one. Um, let me get down. But let me know what you think. If you think it's like, doesn't match or I need more yellow. But uh, you know, you can, you can try as hard as you can to match things and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work look at that corner wowzers a few caterpillars there I've got a bit close so as I said my mix was a little bit thicker this time because I didn't want it to muddy so I made it a touch thicker but now my cells are a little bit smaller I do like this panel here. The raw sienna looks quite orange through my screen, but it's not. It is more, no, it's a brown. Um, the problem I'm having here, and I'm just talking aloud so you guys can hear what my thought process is. My panels are quite thin. My cells are quite elongated. Now, does anybody know why? Like, what happened for them to be like that? Any ideas? Okay, I will tell you. You know how I had almost a kilo of paint and then I went and added another cup of white paint? I've actually got too much paint. So when I did my drags, I dragged my cups down the paint pretty much filled the whole canvas so when I went side to side like this tilting my canvas to get the paint to all match up and touch each other I didn't have to do it very much because they were already touching so I couldn't actually expand those in the center because the paint was already touching. Does that make sense? Makes sense in my little pea brain of a mind. But that's what happened. That's why they're quite narrow because I had too much paint. And yes, you need a lot of paint. Um, but if I'd just done like three big flip cups and not worried about the lines, I would have been able to tilt more off 
but because I was trying to keep my straight lines I didn't really tilt a lot off and that's why those middle panels are quite thin I wonder what it would look like if I just did three big flip cups and and sort of did more um, of an organic sort of movement and then you can see the difference because then I wouldn't have to worry about keeping my straight lines because it is it, it's a very different look and I don't have to worry about keeping my lines so I'm I would tilt more off to open up my cells okay I think I've talked enough but hopefully you understand that there's quite a science behind this pouring okay um, I'll love you and leave you I put my feet up that was a big one made a big mess <laughs> and um, I'll see you for the next one but let me know how you if you like this if I should add anything mm. okay see you real soon stay safe bye for now